The Summoner has returned to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. But that's not all. If you look over here, these are destructible walls. Stick around. These destructible walls are really, really cool. Right here, like destructible gate, grab the gate with falling stones. Why not? And slap it down. Oh, it didn't fit very well. Let me uh, let me try and put that in a better spot so it's not glitching out. I just want to look at this. Uh, oh my goodness, the lag. I guess there's a lot of moving parts. Hold on. Hold on. Look. Look. The gate is actually moving. It's open. It's going to pour colors from three directions and it's dropping stones. Oh, I can't wait to make some units walk through there. That's going to be fantastic. Let's try and position the gate a little bit better away from anything that would collide with. And then if I come over here and I grab some of the banner bearers, I think these guys force units to stay. And then I grab some poachers. I can keep the poachers here and then maybe one more banner bearer right here. And then in front of the banner bearer, I can have like, oh, I don't know, some squires. And these guys can play defense and force things to come through the gate, which is just unfair. And what's going to go through the gate? Oh, I don't know. Maybe some halflings because um, I, I like to watch the halflings get crushed by stones. <laughs> Because I'm a terrible human being. This is an amazing mod. I've I have not had touched a mod in so, so long. Let's watch the hobbits try and get through this laggy gate, shall we? They approach the destructible gate. You can see the gate wiggling. Our units are holding still. And I'm waiting for the stones. Here come stones. They're going to drop on the hobbits. Kaboom! Hobbits get crushed. But my question is, uh oh, these hobbits are kind of like walking into the wood spikes. That's not good. And I was hoping some of the hobbits would get skewered by the gate, but it's not working. The hobbits are actually squeezing their way through the gate, and some of them are grinding up on the gate, thinking that the gate is actually a uh, wonder. Oh no, someone just went inside the gate. They're glitching inside the gate. Look, look, this one's finding a way through. His arm is in. He's trying to get around. And over on this side, trying to get through the lag. Oh my god. Over on this side, the hobbits are swarming the poor knights. The gate is cool, but it, it doesn't seem to stop the hobbits from actually getting through it. And the lag is brutal. We gotta try a different map. So the, the, the destructible gates seem to be very uh, uh, laggy. What if I take some of these destructible walls? How do I, I can't delete them. How am I gonna position these nicely? I wanna make like, uh, I wanna make a hot gate in a sense. I wanna stop, oh no. I wanna stop anyone from coming through through could you not dance like that that would be great kind of just ooh. oh they're touching they can't touch because you you want them to like act as a, a, a wall of sorts and then you have a gap in the wall excuse me i'll try and get this perfect i go like this this wall's glitching over here <laughs> i'll be here a while now here we have regular destructible walls they're not touching each other shouldn't be too bad of lag but it seems as soon as the fight starts the wall hold on they're just leaving at the walls Oh, they just broke the wall. Let's check that out. The wall broke it in multiple pieces. That was fantastic. The walls are destructible. There's a boatload of collision detection going on. Hence the lag. All the physics being calculated, even by my exceptionally powerful computer. And now the berserkers are going after these archers in amongst all the rubble of the wall that they destroyed. The destructible walls are really cool. They, they need to be programmed better so that, you know, we're not just lagging our computers out like crazy, which is a bit of a problem. The walls are cool, but this is the summoner. And many of you may not have ever seen what this thing is capable of. If you go over here to your mod, you click on your summoner and tap it, all of a sudden you have all the options up here of everything you can summon. For example, I'm just clicking random things and you're gonna see everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be able to summon, and it's a little bit of a, a ridiculous list. I think I've clicked some of the mods. Apparently, it can summon modded things, too. You can just how many units are summoned, so I'm going to put it up to, like, I don't know, 20. And I'm going to leave it at about a 10-second cooldown, and we'll call this a test summoner. The summoner is created, and we add our summoner. You know what? We'll do a summoner on either side. And now these summoners are going to summon 20 of the things I clicked, which were some of them were, like, sandbags and stuff. Some of them were modded units. Some of them were wizards and all sorts of insane pharaohs and units. This is what the summoner can do. And we can have some amazing themed kind of summoners, which is really, really cool. The worst part is because of the banner bearers, many of the units can't move. Oh, I just summoned a watchtower. I just summoned two watchtowers. This could have been a mistake. We should uh, 
Uh, we should stop this now. This is probably going to be a bit of a mistake. I have made a summoner who summons 15 things every five seconds. And you'll see what those are in just a second. And he is going against my Avengers factions. We've got some of the returnees like Hulkbuster and Deadpool and Venom. I know Venom's not an Avenger, just bear with me. You've got Vision, you got Captain America and Iron Man and Hulk. You also have some newer people like Groot with Rocket. I'm not sure if you guys have seen me on that video. Star-Lord and Gamora who's over here as well. As well as Carnage and Loki. He's not an Avenger, I know, don't come after me. I just wanted to see what all these units can do against this summoner who summons 15 ice giants every five seconds and so far the avengers are doing a phenomenal job against the ice giants but if nobody gets the summoner he's just gonna keep on summoning and to be honest guys i don't think he's summoning things fast enough i think we may need to buff our there we go we need to buff our summoner because these ice giants there's an ice giant cyclops there's a nice giant Cyclops. He's right here. Look at him. He's adorable. He's majestic. He's so wonderful. And I know, no, where's anyone? No, they did it. They got to the summoner. We need to buff our summoner. I changed my mind. Instead of buffing the summoner, we just put three of them so they can, so oh no. Oh no. Hold on. I don't work all these units. I don't work all, why, why are there random units? What was going on? Did I just summon random summoners? I want to summon ice giant summoners. I try to summon the default summoner that can summon anything. That might be a bit of a problem. Now, you want to impress me, mod makers. You want to impress me. Make a summoner that can summon workshop units as well. Somehow tap into those files and let me summon Avengers. I want an Avengers summoning summoner. I think that would be absolutely amazing. 